Okay, so after producing 100 videos in 100 consecutive days, um, I'm here to tell you that as a content creator, that we need to break the myth that you should strive to be 1% better in every video. Um, I watch a lot of YouTube growth channels, like I'm sure a lot of you do also, and you hear the same things over and over again, right? Things like, you need to make 100 crappy videos before you should take things seriously. You need to get a bunch of experience if you um, are brand new and you incrementally get better by 1%, put 1% more effort into each video. By the time you get to 100, you will have transformed your, your, your video production capabilities and all of, your, all of the stuff, right? And I'm here to tell you that that's just a bunch of garbage. Um, that the idea that you need to get better is, is misleading. Because I think that it has, getting better has this connotation that you're not doing something right or that you are, um, you're lacking something, right? When we think about it from a, from a tech standpoint, it is get a better camera get a better microphone, get better lighting, get better, get a better background or um, all of those things that you, that you seem to be lacking. But also they say, get better at writing a script, get better at producing a thumbnail, get better at this and that. And, and the truth is when it comes to getting better, it's different for everyone. We all come at YouTube as content creators with different strengths and weaknesses, with different backgrounds and level of experience when it comes to any number of things that we are doing in our videos. And so the, the notion that you need to get 1% better, which in my opinion is immeasurable, feels like a line that someone tries to sell you to to sell you on hopes and dreams. Um, and I've done a hundred videos. I've done a hundred consecutive videos and I can tell you that had I gone in with the notion of getting 1% better, I would be 100% better by now, right? But I don't know if that's the case. You can watch, you can go and watch my day one video and then go and watch my day 100 video. Um, and you can tell me, but honestly, you probably should go watch, watch my day 100 video because that is, I think that's the culmination of all of my content that I am most proud of so far. But regardless, I think a better strategy, if you are a content creator, if you are new, or if you are established, if you're still working the kinks out is to strive to be 1% more confident in every video. And that will take you, in my opinion, so much farther than trying to get better. Um, because the truth is, some of these things don't matter. The camera you have doesn't really matter. The microphone that you have doesn't really matter. The lighting you have or don't have don't, doesn't matter. It's your ability to get comfortable using them in a way that is consistent and works best with you and your workflow. That's what matters because ultimately what separates, in my opinion, good videos and I don't want to use the word cringy, but the ones that are obviously early in their content creation journey is your ability to portray confidence on camera. And the way we do that, yes, it's through repetition. But it's one of the things that I think gets overlooked because YouTube growth channels can't teach confidence. They can teach you how to light your scene better. They can teach you how to set your camera to better suit, I don't know, shooting different things, right? Um, they can teach you how to set your microphone and, and do audio better. I mean, I've done that myself on other channels but they can't teach you things like how to have better charisma. They can't teach you how to be 
how to have a better on-camera presence. Those are things that you have to develop on your own. But the thing you need to understand is that by learning things like lighting, sound, audio, video, costuming, whatever, um, that gives you the confidence in yourself that you know what you're doing. And that is what comes across in your videos. It's not that your lighting is amazing or sound is amazing. It's that you are incrementally getting much more comfortable and um, your ability to communicate and connect with audience, with your audience is that much stronger. And I think that is really what you as a content creator or should be striving for, to have that kind of confidence that you can turn on your camera, produce content that you are, um, that you're proud of, that you genuinely are passionate about, that um, connects with other people that you don't know. Those, that is the intangible thing that all of these YouTube growth channels and strategists cannot teach you. They can't teach you confidence, but they can teach you practical things. But your job is to understand that those practical things are really ultimately build your confidence in producing videos, in putting yourself out there, in coming up with ideas, and um, and confidence in creativity is what makes things really awesome. So hopefully this has helped you in some way. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today, and we'll talk again tomorrow.